Now, a remarkable find in Swindon today. Some film of the town's famous footballer, Harold Fleming, has turned up. Yes, Harold Fleming played for Swindon and England, and in his day he was regarded as a genius. Well, David is at the county ground now. Good evening to you. Swindon Town entertaining Warsaw tonight. The home crowd just beginning to arrive. They'll really be looking for a win this evening because they haven't seen one here in three months. I'll have some interesting team news for you in just a moment or two. But first, you know, an old manager used to come here, look around and say, every blade of grass, every brick is down to the success of one player. He was Harold Fleming, who was here in the early 1900s. And remarkably, he made a training film on this very pitch more than 80 years ago. And guess what? Pictures from that film have just turned up. This is Harold Fleming, his image cast in bronze. His name will live at Swindon Town for as long as the club survives because he is their most successful player ever. Today we have a chance to see him in action for the first time since he retired in 1924. This film has turned up, probably shot in the 20s, and bought off eBay for a tenner by Swindon fan James Turner. It's a Harold Fleming masterclass, shot at the county ground in the days before sound, but his football talents speak for themselves. Harold Fleming signed for Swindon in 1907 and became a legend, scoring 203 times in 332 games. He is the only Swindon player to have represented England at a senior level, gaining 11 caps. For club historians, this film is a treasure. For all sort of Swindon memorabilia fans, it is an absolute um, gem. Uh, I would think there can hardly be, if there are half a dozen for any player like this of that period, that a film of such quality exists, I would be very surprised. Fleming was the Beckham of his day. Well, minus the looks and the money, but his skills are sublime. Here he shows us the triangular game, how to keep possession of the ball. The pictures show another world, football when it was a more physical game. Heavy balls, heavy boots, heavy ground. What a contrast to football a hundred years on from when Fleming started, with its designer tracksuits, light boots and high wages. A more innocent time too. Look how Harold demonstrates the foul. In the shadow of the county ground, there is a road named after Harold Fleming, a West Country great in the same tradition as Bristol City's Fatty Wedlock. In retirement, he ran a sports shop and died in 1955. The discovery of this remarkable film brings his skills back to life. <laughs> well, I've had my ear to the dressing room door, metaphorically, of course, and I can tell you that two of Swindon's loan signings, that's Gordon Greer and Hal robson Carnu, are expected to start for Swindon tonight. The team getting their last-minute tactics from the manager. They could do worse than uh, watch that video from uh, Mr Fleming.